Both Tremaine Edmonds and Jordan Poyer gave up touchdowns last year in the playoffs against the Cincinnati Bengals. And we all know what Brandon Bean says about that final game of the season revealing so much about our team. Hey Bills Mafia, welcome to my channel Bills News Consolidated. Today we are going to be discussing the master plan for the Buffalo Bills in 2023. And first it starts with just taking a look at Tremaine Edmonds, Jordan Poyer, free agent said to make a lot of money this year. And really, I think they are lacking a little bit of something here on this Buffalo Bills defense. Keep in mind, Sean McDermott spent his time in Carolina proving himself as a defensive coordinator with now our new defensive assistant, Al Holcomb. But Al Holcomb was a linebacker coach. And I think that is what the Buffalo Bills have been missing. The second and third level of this defense could be doing so much more. We have solidified this defensive line. Going back to 2021, the Bills were known to not be able to stop the run. What did Brandon Bean and the Bills do? We signed guys like Shaq Lawson, Jordan Phillips, Tim Settle, Daquan Jones, Von Miller, drafting Greg Rousseau, having Boogie Basham, AJ Epinesa, all these guys developing Ed Oliver developing in the background and in 2022 we proved that we could stop the run and we proved that Tremaine Edmonds, Matt Milano, they didn't have to shed blocks anymore. Offensive lines were not getting to the second and third level of this defense so we should really be getting the most and allowing to get the most out of Tremaine Edmonds, Matt Milano, even guys like Jordan Poyer in the safeties. We were freeing things up for this defense. And I think the Buffalo Bills are just missing a little bit of something from Tremaine Edmonds. We could see both giving up coverage touchdowns against the Cincinnati Bengals in the playoffs. Tremaine Edmonds, to me, a lot of people said he didn't have the overall speed, and I think he is just a little bit slow, and he also lacks a little bit of instincts. And instincts is another God-given trait. You have to have a little bit of a feel for the game. And that's why I want to discuss Sean McDermott in Carolina with his linebackers, uh, Thomas Davis and Luke Keekley. I'll tell you right now, we're not known for being slow. They were some of the fastest linebackers in the NFL, coupled with some of the awesome top-notch instincts. And when you combine those things, they could be destructive. And we see it with Matt Milano. Matt Milano, he, he's not the fastest guy in the NFL, but he has superb instincts and feel for the game. Will the Buffalo Bills gamble on new players at the middle linebacker spot as well as safety spot to have better instincts and maybe some overall better speed? Uh, Zane Anderson and Jalen Maiden both get signed to the Buffalo Bills and both are much faster than Jordan Poyer. And then we have another guy here like Terrell Bernard, a draft signing from last year. Will the Buffalo Bills rely on Terrell Bernard to be the middle linebacker for the Bills? Hearing Brandon Bean speak that we need more from our rookies and our draft picks. Will that happen? Or will they try to take a guy in this year's NFL draft that played for Clemson, Trenton Simpson? He has a great program that he played for, great top-notch competition, or a guy I've been banging the table for is Drew Sanders from Arkansas playing against six nationally ranked college programs last year and coming away with nine and a half sacks. He's 6'5", 230 pounds, a little bit faster, or even if he is the same speed as Tremaine Edmonds, those instincts could very well make a difference. And we know that we have some depth on this team. I've been saying defensive tackle, but Jonathan Kinsley, Eli Inku, there are so many guys. Brandon Bryant playing opposite side and stepping up, and we still have Tim Settle and Daquan Jones, who we didn't have against the Cincinnati Bengals. Keep in mind, those Bengals also proved that they could run the ball a little bit against us, but I think Daquan Jones not being there was a big loss. Bills could easily address that D-line with another D-tackle signing in this year's draft. So this master plan three, Buffalo Bills are getting through this defense without Leslie Frazier. Leslie Frazier, known to be the best coach of teaching the techniques and fundamentals of playing the game. In a former defensive back for the 85 Bears, I mean, great, great. But when it comes to player personnel, play calling, those types of things, I think we could definitely improve 
in those situations. And the Bills are going to be bringing in players that really already should have good fundamentals, okay? We, we're a good enough team where if we're not bringing in players with good fundamentals, it takes us too long to develop them. They're going to get picked off our practice squad and signed by other teams. So it's a waste. It's a waste. Now, offensively, the Buffalo Bills proved that we need to do a little bit more on this offense, right? Losing Jamison Crowder was a big thing. A lot of injuries. But I don't want to make excuses in this video. And we could clearly say right now, the Bills, you know, we had Devin Singletary, we had James Cook, and we even had Naeem Hines slash uh, Zach Moss last year. Zach Moss, only 5'9", 205 pounds. Really that Moss mode, we were expecting beast mode, and he just couldn't really pack a punch. And on a 5'9 frame, you're not going to be able to do much more than what he already had. Devin Singletary is a free agent. I think he definitely makes a lot of sense coming back to the Bills, especially if you look at that Cincinnati Bengals game. He did have a decent game, and he did contribute. He was kind of that steady hand, you know, grew up in Florida with James Cook. They have a great bond there. I don't know if I'm willing to break that up. Offensive line, the Bills could definitely be addressing some things at tackle and as well as guard. You know, we have some signings on this team, though. Even tight end, a lot of people are saying tight end. If you look at some of the signings that Brandon Bean has brought in here, especially offensively, there are a lot of guys flying under the radar that can contribute. Right now, the Buffalo Bills have a decent tight end sitting in the background here. He's six foot seven, 245 pounds, which proves to me the Bills are still going to be looking for a receiving type tight end. I don't think we're going to be going through a huge scheme change. We saw what Ken Dorsey wants to do last year. I don't see us coming out in many two tight end sets and changing it up that way. I really don't. We're going to put the ball in the best player's hands, such as Josh Allen in this offense. That's why that leads me to another wide receiver here. Proof the Bills want to allocate money to that slot position with Jamison Crowder last year. Even Isaiah McKenzie trying to solidify things. It makes sense to bring in a guy, a valuable player here, such as uh, Jackson Smith, Najigba, JSN from Ohio State. He can come in, start, compete. Now, the other guy is Khalil Shakir. Will we rely on Khalil Shakir in the slot? We did last year. If you look at my videos here, the game film study for Khalil Shakir, you will see him in the slot not only receiving, but blocking, being a contributing blocker for the Buffalo Bills. So again, being stated, it starts up front, solidifying that offensive line. Spencer Brown just wasn't in cell from the rookie year. I guess he did have offseason back surgery from his rookie year into his next season, and he did hurt his ankle. He was in a walking boot against his Kansas City Chiefs. So did that hinder him last year? And I think the Bills could be banking on Ike Bucker taking over for Roger Saffold. Ryan Bates didn't have that bad of a year. We got Deion Dawkins, Mitch Morris. And Spencer Brown rolling with that, betting with that, and also betting on Gabe Davis to be the better version of himself, being that he only never had 100% snap count working in that offense. So I think Gabe Davis will even improve. I think that I here to keep an eye on here is definitely that slot position. Baby, let's go. The master plan has started for Brandon Bean. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to be revealing all these under-the-radar players that are already signed by the Buffalo Bills. But check it out. Check out our backup center. Check out our third-string tight end. Check out uh, the safeties that could easily replace, potentially be the next Jordan Poyer. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit like, subscribe. I will check you guys soon. Go Bills. Peace.